Good morning, folks. Well, that little comet continues tracking across the Soho Lasco frames, past Mercury and conjoining the Sun today. Folks, it is a big day. Our partners at Nine Reese are going to help us change the world of earthquake forecasting this weekend. It is the last day to register for Observing the Frontier 2017, and we've got some fun stories to cover, so let's get to all of that over at spaceweathernews.com. Not much to see in terms of Earth-facing concerns. There are no sunspots, therefore no solar flares, and no other eruptions heading this way. But in fact, the sun was not entirely asleep. The northern limbs, departing and incoming, were seeing a significant amount of plasma filament action and release. These waited to cross the entire Earth-facing disk before lifting up and snapping away. And meanwhile, on the incoming limb, we have a little bit of the same, just supersized. While the solar tornado is only sparsely visible here, does go far up into the corona enough to be as wide as Neptune, and what is revealed in 304 angstroms is a towering structure that broke down with a little release of its own overnight. Coming to the solar wind, we find a calming stream with telemetry in normal range. This has kept the KP index in the safe zone, and that should continue for at least today. But with these dark coronal holes spreading like an outbreak, we'll be seeing more intense solar wind here at Earth as we approach and get into the start of next week. Top stories today begin with Hubble. So this mega meeting is a baby, they say, only 3 million years old, and it contains a hypergiant star. 1,500 times the radius of the Sun, such that if it were in our own system, it would actually stretch out past Jupiter. Next, in a recent Deeper Look episode, we covered the coming update to the Venera d Venus project. Now it appears it's on our doorstep. NASA and Russia will be working together to launch to Venus to see if the dark streaks in its clouds hint at life potential, and they hope to get down to the surface as well. Also linked for you today is a major rewrite to the Permian extinction. It was all about the cold and the volcanoes. Website members have a deeper look on that one posted just last night. Folks will be discussing this one with Suspect Sky on our podcast a little later this morning. Seems fishy, and I agree about the concept, but I've read through it and have no basis to argue. And that's before you remember this is Harvard. Well, this is New Zealand. That storm we watched approach, watched begin soaking, and which is not done yet, has caused a widespread flood event in the southwest Pacific. Sadly, that was just cell number one of two, or maybe even three. You friends are not done down there, unfortunately. So folks, hopefully you've been to QuakeWatch.net recently and seen the changes. On the Forecasting Tools page, you now have access and descriptions to the first of many versions of the Forecasting Tools for Earthquakes making sure you read what's posted along with it. But hopefully you guys also caught this. I think it's about time everyone who is forecasting earthquakes put them in one place. It says to expect it in April. I know, but those who have been around a while know me, and that means eyes open, like now. You see, well, I wanted to do two things as soon as possible. Get the forecasting tools up for you for free, and that has been done but also to get a free home for earthquake forecasting where discussion can be fostered and the disarray of this field can be wielded. We have nine Reese to thank for this, guys. They understood how imperative it was to get you those two things for free, and we owe them a big thank you. But as always, for those who want to go a bit further, dig deeper, and perhaps even win an earthquake forecasting job with us, nine Reese's first product is also ready for launch and highly recommend it. It will be on QuakeWatch.net later this weekend, along with the free tools, and it goes above and beyond that simple stuff. Stay tuned after Fly on the Wall today because we'll be launching your portal to those free posting capabilities for your very own earthquake forecasts, and also Nine Reese's next level service surrounding it. Hopefully we remember that we have no choice but to close registration for the conference today. We've sold out three times, extended the room, but the finish line is here. For website members at suspiciousobservers.org, like I said, you've got that new deeper look episode from last night, plus the podcast, Fly on the Wall, coming today in just a few hours. Right now, we've got pressure and radar forecasts and shots of our star to close. Eyes open for a rainmaker today, Texas. It's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>